What is up, YouTubers? Johnsy here, and welcome back to some more Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, we joined the club. <laughs> uh, Siori dragged us here. We wrote a poem specifically for Nasuki because she's my favorite out of all of them. So we're gonna go her route. And uh, yeah, you can also go it like I didn't mention this in the last video, but as you make the poems for uh, one of these girls, you will kind of go in a route with them in a certain way so like if you picked stuff that Yuri might like um, you'd probably spend more time with her and then the same with Sayori so anyways let's, let's continue with the game now this is right after the last episode anyways can I have my lightning back son please I think I might be a little darker now <laughs> is that my phone? I heard my phone go off Oh, there's just someone live on Facebook, whatever. That don't matter to me, anyways. Hi again, Johnza. Glad to see you didn't run away from us. Ha ha ha. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but at least I'll... At, uh, <laughs> but at least keep my word. Well, I'm back at the literature club. Fun. I was a little... I was the last one to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Thanks for keeping your promise, Johnza. I hope this isn't too overwhelming or of a commitment for you. Making you dread if head first into literature when you're not accustomed to it? Oh, come on. Like, you deserve any slack. Siori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too. I don't know why you plan to just come here and hang out or what. But if I don't, if you don't take this seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps a, her manga collection in the club room. M -m 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 Natsuki finds her s uh, stuck between saying Monica and manga. Manga is literature! Swifty defeated, Natsuki pops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Janza always gives his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking, like cooking and cleaning my room. How dependable. Sorry, that, that's be because you, your room is so messy and it's distracting. And you almost set the house on fire once. <laughs> is that so? <laughs> you, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. How come? You and John are keeping on good friends too. Sorry, I'm going for Natsuki. No, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Yuri fans, if you guys, you know, if I've already been through the game as well. Um, Siori. Mm. As usual, Siori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me into. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, something today, you know? Wait, Sayori. Huh? Me? Um... Not really. Don't be shy. It's really nothing. What is it? N never mind. Sure, I made it sound like it was a big deal when it really is, is not. Uh, what do I do? Uh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation. Hey, don't worry about it, Yuri. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything from you in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. I'll make... It'll make me happy, no matter what. Is, is that so? Yeah, I won't make a big deal out of it, if you don't want it to be. Alright. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. I don't want you to feel left out, so I picked out a book I thought you really might enjoy. This is a stupid book! I hate it! <laughs> nah, I wouldn't be like that. Even if it was something I wasn't really interested in. Be like, yeah, sure, I'll try to read it, I guess. Like, you know. <laughs> it's a short read, so it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. And we could, you know, discuss it if you want. Th this is... How is this girl accidentally being cute? She's even picked out a book she really thinks I'll take despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. I 
enthusiastically take the book. Phew. Well, you can read it in your own pace. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I expect Monica to kick off some uh, schedule activities for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Siri and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in her book. I can't help but notice her expression. She likely was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Suki is rampaging around in the closet. Egg! Aronofsky utter an expression sigh from within the closet. She seems to be annoyed by something. I approach her in the case she needed a hand. You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica! She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Natsuki slides a bunch of stock books in the boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Uh, sometimes. Manga is one of those things really, uh, where you can't admit you really into it until you figure out where you where the other per person stands. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why I stuttered. How did you know, anyways? I heard you bring it up at some point. Besides, it's kind of written on your face. What's that supposed to mean? I, s <laughs> I, s I, I was saying that in my head. <laughs> I see. There's only a loan of volume of manga. Ad admitted a stack of. For various books on the side of one of the shelves. Curiously, I pull out uh, of the stack. Oh, jeez. I know the words. I know the words. I just can't say it. Ugh. There it is. Nasuki snatches it out of my hand. She then turns to the box of manga and slips the volume right back into the middle of the rest. Ah, much better. Seeing the box set with one book, bo with one book missing is probably the most irritating sight of the in the world, and all that feels. I get closer to look at the box that box set she's admiring. Parfait Girls. It's a series I've never heard of in my life. That probably means it's either a way of my demographic or it's simply terrible. If you're gonna judge me, you could do it through the glass on that w window door. She points to the classroom door. Hey, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It was the tone of your voice. But I tell, I'll tell you one thing, Chanza. Consider this a lesson straight from the literature club. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, as he pulls out the first volume of Fire Hay Girls from the box, I'm gonna show you exactly why. She shoves the book right back into my hands. Ah. I stare at the cover. It features four girls in colorful attires, drinking animations, feminine poses. It's a exigently mo. Don't just stand there. Wah. Natsuki grabs my arm and pulls me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the window seat. She Pat's on the ground next to her, signaling me to sit there. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take my seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can't read at the same time like that. Eh? What's that? I guess it's easier to be closer together like this. Don't just say it like that. Oh, I thought that was Nasuki saying that for a minute. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, I, you know what's weird? I play this game a lot. There's just some points where I don't even know who's talking. It make me feel weird about it. Nasuki crosses her arms and stomach and inches away from me. Sorry. I didn't exactly expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. I open the book. It's only a few seconds before Nasuki once again inches closer, reclaiming the additional space while she hopes I won't notice. I can feel her peering over my shoulder much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since I read at the beginning? Hmm? You don't go back and flip through the order of volumes every now and then? Not really. Maybe sometimes after I've already finished the series. 
Hey, are you paying attention? Uh, I am, but nothing really happens yet, so I can talk at the same time. It looks like uh, it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Kind of like us. Typical, s typical slice of life affairs. I kind of grew out of these since a rare for the writing to be entering enough to make up for the lack of plot. So, what should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean, well, I guess you know what I'm. You're, I, I guess I know what you're saying. A lot of the beginnings about simple things, like there's really a funny chapter where they're oblivious to the guy, the ice cream shop. Nasuki, you are spoiling it for me. You are spoiling it. I'm probably not gonna want to read it now. But that just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. Stop spoiling it for me! Come on! No one likes spoilers. Like when they get into the... You know what? So good. There's so many touching parts. Yeah, is that so? It sounds like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I'll understand you better. I'll understand you. Yeah. Hey, wait. What is that supposed to mean? Uh, Nasuki gives me a little shove. I just meant I haven't yet seen you in your full power. Huh, good save. Ah, this chapter seems like it's about bacon. Uh, this is just a guess, but I it's been a lot of bacon in this manga. Well, Nasuki pauses for a moment as if she doesn't want him to admit something. Yeah. Why does that matter? It doesn't. I'm just curious. Since you enjoy bacon too, right? <coughs> That's just to contain. I don't even know what this says. No, well, you guys read it. <laughs> I just happened to get into bacon around the same time I got this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because of manga. I feel bad for anybody who's person and the blah. Ha <laughs> ha! Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that explains Natsuki's interest of, in bacon. Still, a lot of horrible of picks from a manga that's definitely one of the better ones. Not to mention she's really good at it, so who am I to judge? We read for... We read on the... We read on for a few more minutes. I finished a couple of chapters at this point. Are you sure this is isn't bothering you, bothering for you? Ugh. Bother for you? It's not. Even though you're just watching me read. Well, I'm fine with that, if you say so. I guess it's fun staring, sharing something you like with someone else. Ugh. Oh, excuse me. I was again excited when I convince any of my friends to pick up a series I enjoy. You know what that mean? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't have any other friends that like manga. Hmm? You don't? Uh, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Don't you share your manga with your friends? Could you not rub it in? Jeez. Ah, sorry. Hmph. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends into reading this. They just think manga's for kids. Hey, anything could be for anybody, to be honest. It's up to whatever you'd like. Doesn't matter what other people think. Uh, I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Hey, you still haven't grown out of that yet? Makes me want to punch them in the face. There we go, no, those kind of people. You know what? It's it's kind of like why I'm playing this game. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge, much less friends who are also into that into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess uh, gravitated towards the other losers over time. 
But it's probably harder for someone like you. Huh? Yeah, it's pretty accurate. Wait, which part? I mean, I feel like I can't keep up with my own room. Keep it in my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the club room. Except Monica... Except Monica was kind of a jerk about it. Ugh, I can't win, can I? Well, it paid off in the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like the shell... Oh, that solves. It's not like it solves any of uh, any of my problems. Maybe. But at least you're enjoying yourself, right? So? <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. Suddenly, Natsuki starts to laugh. Ha ha ha. I totally forgot that, that happens. Natsuki puts her finger on, on one of the panels. Mira is my favorite character. You always feel like a little, a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when, uh, I shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish the chapter. Natsuki voice sparkles with excitement. It, it starts contrasts to her, to her usual bossy tone. But if she's not used to sharing her favorite manga with her friends, I can't understand why. It's hard to express any words of feelings you get when uh, containing with someone like that. And being able to provide that so to Natsuki for whom is a rare experience. Uh, the thought of me makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, everyone. Yeah? Are you, re all <laughs> Are you all ready to with today's poems? Oh, come on! Could you imagine... Can you time it be any worse? Sorry. Just need to make sure you have enough time. Though, you do look pretty cozy over there. Heh. <laughs> eh. Now, sickly, Sonny notices how close she's gotten to me. She hesitantly slides herself a, like a good 12 inches away from me. Alright. Guess we'll stop here for now. I close the book and hand it towards Natsuki. You're just giving it back. Don't you want to... Oh, you're just giving it back? You don't want to know what happened? Uh, yeah, but... Monica just said... Don't be dumb. Just take it home with you. Huh? Is that really alright? I say that mostly because I didn't plan on using my spare time to read this. Well, of course. It would take forever t to finish if you didn't take it home. Just finish it once... In just finish it that one before tomorrow so we can get started on the next one. And if it gets bent, I'll kill you. <coughs> By tomorrow. I only got part way through the volume so far. I might as well fall behind on, on some shows if I really try to get through this. But I suppose that's necessary uh, sacrifice in exchange for seeing Asuki exu... Uh, you know... Exusiath... Exu... I can't say the word. <laughs> Exusiastic face. There. I don't know. Or am I just more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it? Alright then. I stand up. I return to where I put myself in a cheerful slip the book in I carefully slip the book into my bag. By the way, did you remember writing a poem last night? Yeah, yeah. My relaxing my relaxation ends. I can't believe what I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone is ready, why don't you find someone to share with? Can't wait! Siri and Monica exuthiatically put out their poems. Siri is wrinkled sheet and loose leaf turned from a special spirit notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers on a compressed notebook. I can hardly I can already see Monica's present handwriting from where she sits. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaches in, reaching into their bags. I did the same myself. Alright, then you can practically pick who you want to share your poem with first. So, since, you know, I've got a good vibe with Natsuki right now, I say we'll go for her first. 
Don't ask you, I was interested in my poem yesterday. It's probably only fair I sh if I share mine with her first. And I'll move my mouse, kind of. Okay, well, start with the thing I don't like. What? Okay, well, let's start with the things I don't like. First of all, um... Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's keep reads my poem. Never mind, I don't feel like giving you any opinion. Eh? Then what was the point of sharing it in the first place? I wrote this when I could have been doing other things. In fact, remember how I said I wanted to read your poems? That's what I had in mind when written this. I wanted to help you feel comfortable enough to share yours. Like Monica said. Uh, well, I would be more comfortable sharing my poems if yours wasn't, was, if yours was really bad. You were supposed to show me how dumb poems and, and make me go, ha, well, that's not that great, but let me show you my, what a real literature looks like. And you want to, and you ruined it. I hope you're happy. So in other words, you're saying you liked it. Yeek! And Siki starts getting cut in front of her throat. Yeek! You're so... You just... You don't understand anything, do you? I already told you that you don't have to go announcing it to any... To the world. Like, you're all self-important. Pretty sure you never actually said that. I say that mostly to myself. Natsuki must really hate me or something. I can't figure out if it's a win or a loss that she likes my poem. In any case, you should still... Sh you should need to show me yours, right? Girl, fine, I guess. <clears throat> Only because Monica will make me if I don't. Okay. Eagles can fly. Monkeys can climb. Crickets can leap. Horses can race. Owls can seek. Cheetahs can run. Eagles can fly. People can try. But that's about it. Yeah. I told you that uh, you weren't good. gonna like it. I like it. What? Just be honest. I am. Why are you so convinced that I wouldn't like it? Well, because everyone in high school thinks that writing has to be all... Uh, I don't even know what that says. And stuff. <coughs> So people don't take my writing seriously. But isn't that the point of poems for people to express themselves? Your writing style wouldn't make you your message any less valid. Yes, exactly. I like when it's easy to read it, but it hits your heart, but it hits you hard. Like in this poem, seeing everyone around you do great things can be really uh, disheartening. So I decided to write about it. Yeah, I understand. But the other nice thing about simple writing is that it puts more weight on the wordplay. Like, I set up for a rhyme and end, but then made it fall flat on purpose. It helps brings out the feeling in the last line. So you did. I guess more went into it than I realized. Um, that's what... In, that's what it means to be pro. I'm glad you learned something. Didn't expect you that from you, the youngest one here, you, did you? Oh, she was even saying, I thought it was me. <laughs> yeah, I guess not. I'm gonna get curious with these characters, aren't I? I decided to humor her with the last comment. I don't really care how old she, old everyone is, but if not, can you not pop up in front of my thing? Thank you. I don't really care how old everyone is, but if Natsuki is feeling proud, then I won't let take that away from her. Alright, poem next. What is the time of this video already? We're only at 24 minutes already. So let's go with Sayori. Eh! <laughs> this is a good poem, Jonza. Are you sure you this is your first time? Of course. I only put like words like cute, cupcakes, fun. <laughs> <coughs> of of course. 
it's not that good. I'm kind of, I'm the kind of guy who wouldn't be writing poems in his spare time. <laughs> I guess you're right, but that's why I'm Im impressed me. Well, to be honest, I was afraid that you wouldn't do it seriously, or that you wouldn't write one at all. I'm really happy just that you wrote one. It reminds me on how you really, you're really a part of the club now. Not to mention the fact that it, I'm standing in front of one of the club members. Wait. Not to mention the fact that I'm standing in front of you in one in the club room. Uh, well, of course. Uh, I'm not really into it yet, but th that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. I see. Oh, I see. Or, uh, did you say I see? I don't even know. Hang on, wait. Uh, big history. C. Okay, that was it. You can look back and see what uh, people have said too. Okay. It's like I said before, Jonza. Deep down, you're not selfish at all. You know, trying new things like this f for other people. That's something that only uh, really good people would do. Thanks, Siri. Right? <coughs> Jeez, I've been talking a lot. I've been coughs. Not sure if Sayori sees my full pic the full picture of my motive here. Then again, I can't deny that she's part of the reason I joined. Knowing how much this means to her and all. Yeah. I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That will be my way of thanking you. Alright, I'm gonna to hold you on that then. Yay! Now you'll read my poem too, right? Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Heh <laughs> heh. We'll see about that. Dear Sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you missed me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, making me rub my sleepy from my eyes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Are you trusting me to wish you a rainy day? Uh, I look above, the sky is blue. Um, it's a secret, but I trust you too. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. <coughs> Say, Ari. Why am I, what's my eye watering on? Ah. Oh. There we go. Anyways. Say, Ari. This is just a guess, but... Should you wait until this morning to write this? No. Just a little bit. You can't answer with just a little bit. It's yes or no question. I forgot to do it last night. Well, at least that makes me feel like a bit better about myself. Don't be mean. I still, I still tired. I oh, I still tried. I said I thought they said tired. I still try my best. Ah, uh, yeah. I didn't mean to say it like it was a bad poem. It came out nice, or how it should, how I should put it. It sounds just like you. Really? Yeah. Especially the last line. I made eggs and toast. Even though you were late to school. It's bad to skip breakfast. It's bad to skip breakfast. I get all cranky. I'm toast, bacon, eggs. Well, I guess there's no point in an argument. Anyways, thanks for showing me. Hehe. <laughs> this was so much fun. Mark is the best. Huh, <laughs> yeah. But next time, I won't forget. I'm gonna write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it. Alrighty. Uh, let's go Yuri, I guess. <clears throat> hmm. Yuri starts up with the poem. A minute passes before enough time for to finish reading it. Um, oh, sorry, I forgot I start to, <laughs> I forgot to start speaking. Um, it's fine, don't force yourself. I'm not, I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on, okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah, why you ask? I'm just making sure. That's a little mean. I guess that's it. 
it may it might be after reading it though uh, so it's that bad N no it did I just raise my voice oh sorry I should have said no okay uh, I'm so sorry Yuri blurs her face in her hands I couldn't help but notice that she's s several minutes and we haven't really gotten anywhere it might take a w Yuri a while to get used to new people it's fine, I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Alright, um... It's just that there are significant writer, writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that myself, I kind of learned I pick up from them. I thought the most noticeable thing I recognize in new member writers is that they try to make their style very dis deliverable. In other words, they tend to pick writing styles separating from the topic matter and they f f from fit to gen together. Ugh, I'm bad reading. The end result is that both the styles and expressive are weakened. Once Yuri finds her trains of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. Uh, her stammering, stammering, is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can bl be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that you go into writing, even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting the wor them to work together. It's probably the most cha challenging part. It might take you time some time but it all comes together in practice and learning by example and trying new things I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you a viable feedback Nasuki can be a little bit basic though basic how um well never mind I shouldn't be talking about people like that sorry it's fine I'm sure I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, to Nasuki. Uh, do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I love to share my thoughts, proceed, process, be, behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily as if that's a rare opportunity for her. What, which itself, it's kind of funny. After all, isn't she supposed to be the lit, supposed to be the literature club? What? After all, oh, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? I thought it said her for some reason. Okay. This is going to be hard to read. Ghost Under the Light. The talent of my hair eliminates beneath the ember glow. Uh, bathing, it must be this one. The last remaining streetless to love withstood the time on to be replaced by the sickening blue green on the f yeah I'm not reading all this because this this here is hard to read to be honest if you guys can read it I'll let you take a minute or pause the video wherever you'd like okay that's enough time <laughs> sorry but I can't understand it <laughs> oh I'm sorry I have such terrible handwriting no kidding <laughs> and I'm just kidding it's actually the good handwriting which makes it hard to read. You have too good of handwriting. But what? I wasn't thinking of that at all. But it, it took you t a long time to read. I mean, it's kind of hard to read, Yuri. I mean, come on. Yeah. Well, I just don't read scripts very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. In fact, it's so pretty that it's so hard to read. You put a lot of effort of making the words look good that you can't make them understand. That's a relief. Also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. It wasn't too short. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. 
Something easy to d disguise, I suppose. Are you into ghost theory? Uh, <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, Jonza. Really? I must have totally messed it, missed the point. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. I did just glance over it after all. <laughs> but remember that uh, poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and expressions in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple, a simple story or paint a picture. In case perhaps the subject of the poem is really is only being simplified compared to a ghost. Uh, lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of her past, and soon uh, to be lifted with the with nothing. That's a lot more solemn putting it like that way. Yeah. I hadn't even thought of that. That's imp that's impressive. It's nothing really. Well, it makes me happy that you'd think that. Just remember that I won't be long before you pick up one of those things or two. Yeah, maybe you're right. I guess I'll have to keep trying. Count on you. Whew. One more. <clears throat> I'm getting tired of talking. Definitely done after this episode. Uh, hi, Jonza. Having a good time so far? Uh, yeah. Good, glad to hear. By the way, since you're new and everything, if you ever have any suggestions for the club, like new activities or things that we can do better, I'm always listening. Don't be afraid to bring things up, okay? Alright, I'll keep that in mind. Of course I'll be afraid to bring things up. I'm much better off just going with the flow until I'm more settled in. Anyways, want to share your poem with me? It's kind of embarrassing, but I guess I have to. Ha <laughs> ha. Don't worry, Jonza. You're all a little... We're all a little embarrassed today, you know. That's not a short or bitter barrier that we'll all learn to get past soon. Yeah, that's true. I hand Monica my poem. Hmm. I like it, Jonza. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me feel... Makes me think... Of something that's stupid right and she's got a good right writer too so take uh, take that as a compliment <laughs> if you say so yep by any chance have you read anything by shell Sil silver stints eh maybe a long time ago he's a famous for telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words his poem can be funny enduring or even sad and sometimes they're only a few lines long they might even feel like they're written for kids but if you think about them you can express f views of the world that would apply to anybody I see you're so you're saying that Natsuki is that kind is is kind of like that sort of Maybe she's not an expert, but you probably won't find much filter in her poems. They might be easy to write, but they're super challenging to get the meaning through. So I can see why it would be your kind poem to explore. I'm sure I'll end up trying different things a lot. It could take a while before I feel comfortable doing this. That's okay. I'd love to see you try new things. That's the best way to find the kind of style that suits you. <clears throat> Everyone else might be a little bit uh, basic towards their own kinds of styles, but I'll always help you find what suits you the most. So don't force yourself to write the way everyone else wants you to write. It's not like you have to worry about any impressive, impressing them or anything. I mean, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here, Monica. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Do do apples. Ha ha ha. Anyways. I just said what she just said. Do I read my poem now? Uh, don't worry. I'm not very good. 
You sound pretty confident for someone who claims to be not very good. Well, if that case is, I, ha I have to sound conflicted. That doesn't mean I always feel like that way, you know? I see. Well, let's read it then. Now, before we move on and read this poem, I do want to say, um... Reading is a little hard for me on this point. I know I've probably done a lot horrible than the last episode. And, um... The only reason I've been also having, like, little coughs is because I've been talking a lot. I'm probably going to grab a drink after this. But, um... You know, anyways, uh, hole in the wall. It couldn't be me. Um, ooh. It couldn't be me. See the direction that speckled paradise portrait? A nosy neighbor, an angry boyfriend. I'll never know. I wasn't home. Up here inside for, for a clue. No, I can't see it. A real blind, like a film, left out in the sun. But it's too late, my... Really, I don't even know what it says. Uh, my returns? I don't know. Already scorched with the payment copy of the meaningless image. It's just a little hole. It wasn't too bright. It's so deep. It was too deep. Uh, stretching forward into everything. A hole is infinite choice. A hole of infinite choices. I realize now that I wasn't looking in. I was looking out. And he, on the other side, was looking in. <clears throat> so, what do you think? Hmm, it's very free roam if that's what you're going if you're that's what you're calling it. S sorry, I'm not really the right person to ask for feedback. Eh, it's okay. Yeah, that kind of style has gotten pretty popular nowadays. Uh that's it. All that that is a lot of poems have been put in em emphasis on the time in between words and lines. When performing out loud, it can be really powerful. That was an inspirational behind this one. Ah? Well, I'm not sure if I know how to put it. I guess you could say that I had some kind of empathy recently. It's been influenced by my poem a bit. In infinity? Impinfinity? Uh, yeah, something like that. I'm kind of nervous to talk about deep stuff like that because it's kind of coming so strongly. Maybe after everyone is better friends with each other. Anyways, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Something when you're writing a poem or a story or a brain, get to fix it on a specific point. If you're trying so hard to make it perfect, then you'll never make it any progress. Just force yourself to get into something down on paper and tidy it up after later. You know, it is kind of true. Like, um, I remember when I was still in school, um, in my uh, writer's craft, where we had to make up our own stories. Um, I did kind of plan out what my story was going to be, and I kind of fixed it up during time and started making it a little more better. I think I still have it. I was also thinking of making, like, a second volume of it um i forgot what it was called i think it was called the it was something about road trips or something like that i don't i forget what i called it i think it was called the road trip but i don't know anyways another way to think about this if you keep your pen in the same spot for too long you'll just get a big dark puddle of ink so just move your hand and go with the flow that's my advice for today thanks for listening Phew, I know. Oh, jeez, but I'm probably going to have to go through a little more talking. I guess that everyone... I glanced at the room. That was a little more stressful than I anticipated. As if everyone is judging me for my me mediocre writing abilities. Even they are just being nice. There's no way my poem can stand up to theirs. This is literature club, after all. I sigh. I guess that's what I ended up getting myself into. Across the room, Sayori and Maka are happily chatting. I lay eyes on Yuri and Natsuki. They generally exchange sheets of paper, sharing their respective poems. As they read them in tenor, I watch for their expressions to change. Natsuki outbrows furrow in frustration. Meanwhile, Yuri smiles sadly. 
What's with this language? Huh? Did you say something? Oh, it's nothing. Eski uh, dismissively returns the poem to the desk with one hand. I guess you could say it's fancy. Ah, thanks. And yours is cute. Oh, Yuri. Yuri. If there's something... If there's something you should know about Natsuki, it's to never call her cute. Cute? Do you completely miss the symbolism or something? It cl it's clear about feeling... Uh, of the feeling of giving up. How can that be cute? Oh, I thought I typed it. Okay. Uh, I know that. I just meant the language, I guess. I was trying to say something nice. Eh. You mean you have to try that hard to come up with something nice to say? That's a bit, but it really didn't come out nice at all. <coughs> oh, geez, sorry. Um. Well, I do have a couple suggestions. Huh. If I was looking for suggestions, I would have asked someone who actually liked it. Which people did, by the way. Siori liked it, and Jonza did too. So based on that, I'm gladly to give some suggestions of my own. First of all, excuse me. I appreciate the offer, but I spent a long time establishing my writing style. I don't expect to change any time soon. Unless, of course, I come across something particularly inspiring. Which I haven't yet. Nye, nye, nye. And Jonza liked my poem too, you know. Oh god, don't cut- don't get me in the middle of this, come on. Uh, and he even told me he was impressed by it. Next he suddenly stands up. Oh. I didn't realize you were so invested to try and impress our new club member, Yuri. Eh, uh, that's not what I, uh, you're, you're just, Yuri stands up as well. Maybe you're just jealous that Johnson appreciates my advice more than he appreciates yours. And how would you know, oh, would he appreciate my advice more? And f you, that, f you, are you f that full of yourself? I, no, if I was full of myself. I would deliberately get out of my way to make everything I do overly cutesy. You. Um. And okay. Well, you know what? I wasn't the one whose booze actually grew a size bigger when Johnson started showing up. N Nasuki. Um, Nasuki, that's a little. This doesn't involve you. Okay, I will leave now. <laughs> I don't like fighting guys. Suddenly, both girls tor turned towards me as if they noticed I was staying here the whole. If I was staying here. Uh, no thanks, no thanks, I'm gone. No, no! That. Yeah. I'm green, I gotta sit back up. Ugh! Jonza. She, she's just trying to make me look bad. That's not true! She started it! If she could get over. And learn to appreciate that simple writing is more effective, then this wouldn't have happened in the first place. That's the point of making your poems all completely for no reason. The meaning should jump out into the read and force them into having to figure it out. I can't even get the voice out. Help me explain it to her, Jonza. Wait, there's a reason I have so many deep expression words in, in our language. It's it's the only way I could convey complex feelings and meaning most efficiently avoid them is not understandably limiting yourself it's so it's also a waste you understand right Jonza? um well how did I get dragged into this in, in the first place it's not like I know everything about writing but whoever I agree with they'll probably think more highly of me um Siori, help! Nasuki? Uh, she glares at me, dying in the words of my mouth. Tuesday, turn to Yuri. Yuri? But expression is so defenseless that I can't bring myself to say anything to her. Siori? 
Eh? Yeah? Everyone in fighting is making Sayori uncomfortable. Oh. How can you two keep fighting when you know you're, you're making a f your friend feel like this? Janza. Well, that's her problem. This isn't about her. I agree. It's unfair to others to inject their own feelings into our conflict. Yeah, unless Sayori wants to tell Yuri what a stuck-up jerk she is being. Here we go again! She would never. Sorry, Sayori, I kind of dragged you into this as well. It's immediately that you made her upset in the first place. EXCUSE ME?! Are you listening to yourself? This is exactly why... Exactly why nobody likes... STOP! Nasuki, Yuri, you guys are my friends. I just want everyone to get along and be happy. My friends are wonderful people. And I love them because they are so different. Nasuki poems, they're amazing because they give so many feelings just with a few words. And Yuri's poems is amazing because the pain and beautiful pictures in, hand, in your head. Everyone is so talented. So why are we fighting? Because, well, also, Nesuki is cute and there's nothing wrong with that. You just call me cute. Siori, don't make me have to fight you too. <laughs> Anyways. And Yuri's boobs are the same as they always were. Really had to br big and beautiful. You're gonna make me feel uncomfortable here, Sayori. Look, she even feels uncomfortable. Sayori! Sayori stands trampantly. Monica stands behind her with a bow of expression. I'll make some tea. Yuri rushes off. Asuki sits down with a blank expression on her face, staring at nothing. So, is that why Sayori is vice president? I um, whispered to Monica. She nods in return. To be honest, I might come off as a good leader and I can organize things, but I'm not very good with people. I could even bring myself to injury, in, injuries. As president, that's my kind of, of embarrass of me. Ha <laughs> ha. Nah. It's not like you can bl I can blame you. I wasn't able to, to say anything either. Well, I guess that just means Sierra is amazing in her own way, isn't she? You can say that. She might be airheaded, but so sometimes it's really suspicious that she knows exactly what she's doing. I see. Take good care of her, okay? I would hate to see her herself get herself hurt. That makes two of us. You can count on me. Monica smiles sweetly, causing my stomach in a knot. Such a generous person really does make a good president regardless of what she says. If only I could get a chance to talk to her a little more. Yeah, but the game doesn't let you. Okay, everyone. It's just about time for us to leave. How did you feel about sharing poems? It was a lot of fun. I'd say it was worth it. It was alright. Well, mostly. Jonza, how about you? Yeah, I feel the same. I say the same. <laughs> it was neat uh, things to talk about with everyone. Awesome. In that case, we'll do the same thing tomorrow. And maybe you can learn something from your new friends, too. So your poems will turn out even better. I think to myself, did I really learn more about what kinds of poems everyone likes? With any luck, that means I can at least do a better job impressing those I want to impress. I nod to myself in new front determination. Jonza, you ready to walk home? Sure, let's go. Hee <laughs> hee. Sayori beams at me. It truly has been a while since Sayori and I have spent this much time together. And I can't really say that I'm not enjoying it either. Why is my mouse over here? Wasn't it down here? <laughs> Sayori. About what happened earlier. Eh, hey, what do you mean? You know, between Yuri and Asuki. Did that... Does, it, does that kind of thing happen often? No, no, no! That... It's really the first time I've seen them fight like that. I promise, they're both wonderful people. You don't hate them, do you? No, I don't hate them. 
I just wanted your opinion, that's all. I can see why they would make good friends with you. Phew. You know, Dranza, it's nice that I got to spend time with you at the club. But I think seeing you get along with everyone, that makes me the happiest. And I think, think everyone really likes you, too. That's... <laughs> Every day is going to be so much fun. I sigh. It looks like Sierra still hasn't caught on to the kind of situation I'm in. Sure, being friends with everyone is nice, but does it really need to stop here? Well, we just have to see what the future holds, Sierra. I pat Sierra on the shoulder. I said that much more to myself than, uh, had her, than to her, but it's easy to uh, Sayori as an essential monologue sometimes. I don't even know what I'm saying. Dude, my dogs are distracting me. Hang on! Okay, I'm back. They were just barking at nothing for some reason. Also, as I stood up, my leg hurt. My knee. My uh, right knee. Anyways, back to this. Okay. Yeah. Let's do this. Alright, so I'll make my poem and then we'll, uh... In the episode, I guess. Okay, um, let me see. Flower. Shit! Silly. No! Fuck! Wait, Papa. Yes. Playground? Yes. Puppy. Oh, kiss. Pink. Fuck. Wait, marshmallow. Uh. Sweet. Fuck. Think heart was. No! Shit! Fun. No! This. Boop. Joy. Fuck. I'm messing this up. Candy! Bubbles! Oof. Was anime one of them? I'm pretty sure. Yes. Jump. Family? Uh, I don't know. Uh, should I just pick something that Yuri likes? Because I think I got most of... Lucky? Shit! Jumpy. Okay, hopefully I got Natsuki in that. Alright, I'm gonna save there. And I'm gonna end the episode. So, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked this video, press the like button or subscribe, do whatever. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time.